Welcome to Better at Beach. Today we're going to show you how to hit a short surf. Hey guys, I'm Mark. Today we're going to go over the technique for short serves and I'm going to give you a few tips on when you should and shouldn't use it. Before we get started, go ahead and give us a subscribe or a like and I'll give you a very special gift at the end of this video if you do. So stick around. So a short serve is pretty simple, but it's just something you really need to practice. Normally when we serve kind of a flat, deep, fast serve, we want to aim for somewhere behind the ball on the back face of it. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you two types of short serve. One of them is going to be called a dead ball and the other is just going to be a steep short float. Now the dead ball is kind of like a change up in baseball where you've been throwing fast, fast, fast and you've got the passers on their heels. A dead ball is where you just move your arms a little bit more slowly, you move your hitting arm a little bit more slowly and you have just a weaker, softer contact. What that's going to do is that's going to make the ball move on the same exact trajectory line and it's going to freeze that passer into thinking that the same hard flat serve is coming, only it's going to die just a little bit sooner and they're going to have to dive forward for the ball unexpectedly. Might get an overpass, so prepare to put that ball away. The first serve, after we've lined them up with a fast flat float serve that looks like this, <coughs> keeping them on their heels, all right? is going to be a dead ball. Now, again, it's the exact same trajectory. We just want to move our arm a little bit slower, okay? Softer so that the ball falls sooner in the court. This takes a lot of practice and it can be useful. Remember, if you give the dead ball away or you hit it too deep, it's going to be really easy to pass. So I recommend really practicing and getting the feeling for that dead ball so that it just reaches the net and gently falls down on its own. That serve is different than a steep short serve. For a steep short serve, we actually want to hit more on the bottom of the ball so that the ball goes up and then it can fall down really close to the net like it's falling down a curtain. Okay? That ball is going to make our passers move forward a lot. It's going to give away that we're giving a short serve, but it's usually easier for people to master. So making sure that we use hamburger, no french fries. We're going to toss a little bit behind ourselves in comparison to when we hit our flat float serve. So bring that ball a little bit closer to your body and then just aim up nice and soft. You don't need to follow through on this because we're aiming up. So it's okay to leave your hand finished high. Here's our steep short serve. There's a lot of arm swing technique that we need to talk about in there in order to really help you master your short serve. So if you're interested in fixing your arm swing or going through an entire three week serving course called Power, Accuracy and Aces, we have that full course in our Beach Volleyball Mastery Membership where you can submit your videos of you doing our drills and we coach you on your videos. So we're gonna include the link below this video and you can check it out as soon as we're done. We're gonna talk about why you would wanna short serve and why it could be dangerous. Now, first, why would you wanna short serve? What does it do to the other team? It usually takes away the other team's approach. Now, what that means is most people start their powerful approach from behind half court and they can get their legs under them and they can jump as high as they can with vision since the ball's in front of them and they're gonna have a good offense. But when you serve some players short, they don't get back to that depth. They don't take the better at beach hitting course, so they don't know how to get themselves a full length approach and they get stuck. When they get stuck close to the net, a lot of times they end up having to look up at their set. So they lose vision and they lose a lot of the momentum that their approach will give them, so they lose height. So remember, short serves make somebody jump lower. Usually they end up shooting the ball, so you might be able to peel your blocker and they also make them lose vision. So you don't have to worry about skirting back and forth defensively. One of the most advantageous times to use this short serve is when you have a smaller player who is a right side, right handed attacker. These are typically, not always, but typically the players that love to use their vision and shoot the ball around the court. But if they think that they can jump high and hit hard, they might try to bury that ball down the line. So 
if you're looking for one play that's going to work over and over again, I want you to try serving the right side player short, blocking cross or a cut shot, and leaving your defender down that line to dig the hard driven. You're gonna find that a lot of players will end up taping that ball, or they'll end up hitting at the net because they'll see a wide open swing down the line, but they won't have their approach, they won't have their max height, and they're smaller anyway, so it's gonna be tough for them to put that ball down hard. It's a good idea to either delay your blocker or peel them into the cross when you use this play so that you cover the over cross shot or the cut shot. Now, why wouldn't? we want to use a short serve, or at least what should we prepare for? If the other team has quality movement, so they can move quickly to the ball, they have great steps and they're under control when they're passing that short serve, this leaves us really open to an on-to attack. That's not a nightmare, but it's often difficult to know whether the setter is going to hit or set their hitter, so our blocker and our defender have to pay attention and keep moving. Now we don't always like that, but it's a good wrinkle to throw into one of our plays. If it works, keep doing it, keep doing it. See if they can find their way out of it. Very important for strategy and for winning a few points. But remember, anytime you put the ball short, you're leaving the option for the other team to go on too easily. You just have to make sure they prove that they can do it time and time again. Our YouTube videos go into a lot of detail, but if you want to get custom coaching, I want you to check out Beach Volleyball Mastery. In this program, our players go through all of our courses and tutorials in a progressive way, and each drill, each exercise, each time we give drill homework, players go home, they film everything that they do, and then they upload them to our private Facebook group where then we provide coaching. So if you want us to coach you on your game, your technique, go ahead and check out Beach Volleyball Mastery. We're gonna include that link below. Also, just for coming, like I promised, I'm gonna give you a free drill book, 36 of our favorite drills. You can download that below. And if that's not enough, I'm also going to include three free workouts that'll help you improve your vertical jump. All of those links will be below. You get to pick and choose which one you like or take them all. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.